Hello everyone, Jed English. Today we're having another video on simple English dialogues. And I think I need to, to make some changes because if we go this same pace, we're never gonna we're never gonna finish this website. So this first website you can see it on the screen www.wrong chng.com. So this website has I know how many, more than 1,000 dialogues. And if we do only one a day, and I don't even do one a day, so I do it one every three days or four days, we're never gonna finish this. I, I'm, I'm, I want to finish this website. I want to read everything, and I want you to know everything from this website. So let's do a couple of more dialogues uh, at a time. Uh, now I'm doing three dialogues in one video, so maybe later I'll go up to 5 or even 10 so we'll see okay i even have an idea how can i how i can make a video with you know 100 dialogues in one video it's going to be cool you now whole all day long from the morning till the evening till till night okay today we have three dialogues about parents and their children let's get started hello is this the smith residence Sarah, hurry up and get out of bed. I can't. The blankets won't let me go. So A is a father and B is a girl. He's a student, a schoolgirl who doesn't want to go to school. I can't. The blankets won't let me go. Quit being lazy and get up. No, I, I have to finish my awesome dream. I can't believe you turned off your alarm this morning. Why? I do it every morning. If you don't get out of bed, you'll get to school late. That's not so bad. How is it not so bad? Sleep is good for growing children. Yes, but you have a math test this morning. I completely forgot. I'm up. I'm up. Alright. So, this is the morning, obviously. And this girl... Uh, needs to go to school. Her father is waking her up, right? But she doesn't want to go to school. Well, I remember this precisely. Uh, especially in the winter, it's so difficult to get out of your bed and go to school. You know, it's super cold outside. It's snowing, but your your bed is so warm. It's so comfortable, and you, you know didn't have enough sleep that night because you stayed late. You know, the day before, because you did your... What happened? My screen just... Well, what happened? My, my screen just accidentally... Turned off. That's really weird. But, I hope my video is on, so let's continue. And... Ah, uh, you feel sleepy. You're not feeling all good, but you have to get up. Ah... Uh, it was so uncomfortable. No, I'm back. It was so uncomfortable. It was so difficult. And it wasn't just one day. No, it happened regularly with me because I had a lot to do as a kid. Well, what's going on with my computer? I had a lot to do being a kid. So I can relate. I can understand this girl. She has she has her right for eight hours sleep. Of course, if, if it's more than eight hours, then please move your ass. I'm sorry for my French. I can't. The blankets won't let me go. Blankets is the piece of cloth in which with we cover our body. Used to cover our bodies when we sleep to make us warm, to make us comfortable at night. And by the way, I thought about it. Um, isn't it interesting why we use blankets? No blankets at night. Because why is it so comfortable? Why is it so nice? To, to use the blankets. Well, one of the reasons, I guess, is that our temperature is going down when we sleep. And also, I don't know, it, it just you know, a wild guess. And if you look at our posture when we sleep, it looks like the... What's the word? Yep, like embryo or fetus. Like when we were in our mother's womb, Right, we have this posture when our head is forward. You know, we curl our cross our arms, 
and we curdle so we we look like a ball right and it looks like we are in a womb again I heard this idea uh, I'm not sure if it's true or not and we kind of cover our body to protect ourselves from the, 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 the temperature the cold from the wind and it, it, it looks like we're in the womb again so it's just a crazy idea I'm not sure we should check it on the internet but it's really interesting still so uh, try to sleep without a blanket can you do this I think after some time after some practice of, of course we can do it we can get used to it but it's not easy first I mean it's, it's almost impossible to to know to go to to go to bed to fall asleep without the blanket it feels so cold yeah but I think it's mostly because of the temperature okay quit being lazy and get up <laughs> but this trick doesn't work with her father probably it's not the first time she uses this technique as an excuse for not going to school or for all for being late no I have to finish my awesome dream wow that's a nice excuse I have to finish my awesome dream like who cares and you probably won't finish your dream I don't know about you guys but when I have a dream and um, I kind of dropped it so when you sleep again you don't see the same dream like you can't continue like like a video <laughs> you put it on hold you pause it and then you can continue from the same place I wish it worked like this but it doesn't oh if it was a very nice awesome dream now it's gonna be a, a nightmare a disaster so this is this is life but probably it works for some people you know I'm interested if many people have this like when you can wake up you know stop your dream and then go on from the place you left off it will be you no know, it will be super interesting like you have this checkpoints like in video games you have to save your checkpoints and then you continue the next day it will be awesome I can't believe you turn off your alarm this morning why I do it every morning well I also relate to this because it can happen automatically you don't really control yourself and one of the things I can recommend you do is that you use a special feature on your smartphone that you know that offers you some math problems to solve in order to turn off your alarm clock and it's super awesome when so when the when the alarm uh, sets all goes off you can just turn off with one click you have to solve a math problem like 2 plus 2 and it would be super easy uh, or 13 13 times 17 plus 19 minus like 29 and you have to really you know cringe this <laughs> crunch these numbers you have to turn on your brain put on your thinking head otherwise you know you won't solve this problem and I use this feature I use the medium difficulty so I have to solve three problems in the morning in order to stop my alarm and yeah it works it works at least you you know you're conscious when you're doing this you know you have some idea what's going on if you really want to sleep it's impossible to wake up then then you make this decision you make this you know serious and conscious decision to wake to go to bed again but not with you know that that brain when you do it automatically I can't believe you turn off your alarm this morning why I do it every morning if you don't get out of bed you'll get to school late oh blah 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 how dangerous um, I've always been late at school you know it was my my biggest problem it still is in many aspects of my life you know I can do things on time and um, once I went to school that was you know 50 kilometers away from my home and it took almost two hours to get to school and I was late all the time obviously and after some time I used to go to you know the school it was maybe five minutes away from my home and again I was late so nothing changed it doesn't really matter where you work or where your school is uh, it's in your personality it's in your habit to be late um, so it's a big problem because I had so many things to do in the morning you know before going to school like you can't give it up and go out oh you, you're thinking like oh I have some more more time you know I, ha I have five minutes I can check out this new video or I can read this article I can you know try to do something and you postpone your 
you know, postpone getting getting out, and you are late again. Why do we really don't get out of bed? You get to school late. That's not so bad. <laughs> How is it not so bad? Sleep is good for grown children. Wow, this is a good, this is a good reason. It's nice reasoning. I love it. Sleep is good for growing children, right? So what's the point of, you know, studying of doing something if you hurt your health? You know, the health is one of the most important aspects of our life. If if we you know damage or ruin our health, well, you're gonna spend all your money in the future to to fix yourself, to heal yourself. So it's not good. So health first, good sleep first. <laughs> but if it was that easy to convince your parents. Uh, yes, but you have a math test this morning. Well, that's different, you know. It's not just a regular regular class. Math test might be difficult to do it, do it again. Or to, to find time, to find some time to do this test when all everyone else has done it. But, yeah, it's very important. I completely forgot. I'm up. I'm up. I just want to say that uh, many English learners, they say the word forget like in the present uh, but it's not correct if you should use the past form say I completely forgot because technically you did it in the past right mm, or not in the past you forgot <laughs> well that's really tricky because yeah I think you forgot in the past anyway you forgot and then you haven't been remembering it till now and you don't remember it now but you forgot it Yesterday, for example, because if you remember this yesterday, you would have gone to bed earlier, and you would you wouldn't have turned your alarm off. So yeah, it's in the past. So I completely forgot. Um, if it happens regularly, you can say I very often forget things. It means it's your regular habit. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next dialogue. Hello, is this? Mr. Smith, I'm Mrs. Jones. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Did you get my message? Yes, I did. I'm returning your call. All right, of course. What's the problem? Is James in trouble? I caught him copying a classmate's test today. Oh, the child is incorrigible. Well, I haven't read this. Incorrigible. I'm afraid I have to give him detention this time. It's all right, I understand. James certainly is strong-willed. Yes, he needs a firm hand and discipline. He's a good boy. Now, if only he'd stop cheating. Strong-willed. Mm -hmm. Hello, is this Mr. Smith? I'm Mrs. Jones. So, Mrs. Jones is a teacher. And she's calling... Mr. Smith, supposedly a father of this boy, of this boy named James. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Did you get my message? Yes, I did. I'm returning your call. Wait a second. Wait a second. A. A. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I misled you. Hello, is this Mr. Smith? I'm Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones is a mother of this boy named James. And Mr. Smith is a teacher. All right. Hello, is this Mr. Smith? I'm Mrs. Jones. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Did you get my message? So, Mr. Smith, a teacher, send a message. So, on VK, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, what kind of message is this? Uh, well, today, even in Russia, you know, people, uh, I mean, students and their parents and the teacher, they have their own What's up, you know, group? What's up group or uh, contact a group or a group chat at least, group chat. So, you know, they're cool, they're modern. And if something happens, if, if you do something wrong, you know, your teacher immediately reaches your parents. Or immediately tells your parents that you you did something bad. So, it's, it's, it's much easier to communicate between parents and, 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 and a teacher. So it's, it's a very bad thing for students. 
because <laughs> they should be very careful of doing something bad or cheating or you know, calling you know their peers names and stuff so <laughs> did you get my message so teachers this teacher send a message through whatsapp or facebook messenger i don't know depends on what they use yes i did and i'm returning your call i'm returning your call means i'm calling you back so i got some information for you i got your request and now i'm calling you because of this reason you mentioned in your message so i'm returning your call all right of course so what's the problem mother asks is james in trouble is james having some problems i got him copying classmates test today so i caught him cheating it's called cheating cheating when you're not fair when you try to use you no know, illegal means illegal ways to do your test and um, it can be different thing it can be copying someone else's test it can be using you know those little papers with all the answers you can use it you know you can put it in your sleeve or you can you know stick it <laughs> To, to a student sitting next to you. So there's a thousand ways, especially now when you have smartphones or a smartwatch, you can upload your you know all the answers to a smartwatch and pretend to look at your watch, but in fact checking your answers. So now wow man, I could make a whole video about cheating, uh, about ways to cheat. And you know, modern students that are younger than me, so now I'm almost 30. So today's students, I think they they've created even more ways to cheat. So students create new ways to cheat, and then you know students, teachers find out, and they create. Then students create something new, and it, this this happens over and over again. It, it won't stop. I think it ne it will never stop. Uh, now they can use technology, some even some you no know, extra gadgets. Uh, some some teachers are okay with that. They don't really care. They sit at their desk and you know, and and look at their books or their smartphones. But some te some teachers are really uh, annoyed. <laughs> are really annoyed by cheating. So they walk around. They check on you. You know they know the things that you can use. So they are very very difficult to, to trick okay the child so yeah I caught him copying a classmate's test today oh the child is incorrigible so in don't confuse it with incorrigible encourage encourage I mean incorrigible means incorrigible means he cannot be changed you can't change him I'm afraid I'll have to give him detention this time. Detention. Uh, when you leave, when the teacher leaves, keeps his student after the after the classes, you know, to give him some extra exercises to make him learn the things that he doesn't understand. And yeah, to check his knowledge. So I think this thing is that students don't like the most like to stay at school after the lessons when all your peers go home you know and especially when you look at the window and you see the, the football football field uh, where you no know, people or students boys are you know, playing football you no know, girls playing at the playgrounds and you can see it and say you have to study you have to read no boring books wow nothing can be worse than that for for youngsters i think I'm afraid I have to give him detention this time. It's all right. I understand. James certainly strong will means he has a strong willpower. Means if if he wants something, he can do it. For example, if you want to give up something, if you want to give up smoking, if you want to give up some bad habits, or you know otherwise you want to pick up some you no know, good skills, good habits. For example, going to the gym, you no know, three times a week, or you know, cleaning your cleaning your up your room every day, so you need to have willpower, because it might be easy first, you no know, first the first few days, but later uh, it's it's getting increased increasingly 
difficult and you have to stay tough you have to you know keep going and you need willpower it's called willpower like your muscles have strength and power and your will your your commitment your desire to get things done it's called willpower will and and many people argue if it can be trained or not I think it can be trained it can be trained for sure James only strong will yes he needs a firm hand and discipline a firm hand means that someone else's firm hand like for example in this case a teacher's firm hand you're gonna do this you'll be doing this you will be a good student firm hand and discipline he's a good boy now if only he'd stop cheating if only he'd stop cheating cheating okay uh, conversation number three hello mr smith it's nice to finally meet you well now we meet in person mr smith the teacher and mrs jones mother likewise mrs jones please sit down uh, is james in trouble again actually no he's not what's the purpose of this meeting exactly i just wanted to let you know that james is doing very well oh is that right i'm i'm so proud he has been staying for tutoring and his marks have skyrocketed i always knew he had it in him he behaves better in the classroom too i do believe my james is growing up all children need to mature all children need to mature is motivation motivation all right hello mr smith it's nice to finally meet you so first they have a chat on whatsapp or uh facebook messenger or whatever and now they meet in person maybe at school likewise means the same the same mrs jones it's nice to finally meet you i have the same feeling I'm pleased to see you. Mrs. Jones, please sit down. Is James in trouble again? <laughs> so she's very suspicious because, because the most common reason when parents are called to school is that their children don't behave well or they have bad marks. So it's only bad things. Well, nobody's going to call you and invite you to at school just to praise your kid. I mean, well, it happens on regular meetings when all the parents are around, but just you individually to to tell you something good about your kid i don't know never mm. happened in my life i never saw this uh is james in trouble again so uh, in of course she 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 thinks something bad happened again actually no he's not what's the purpose of this meeting exactly so what's the goal why did you call me? Why did you invite me? What, what, what do you want? What do you want? If he's not in trouble, what am I doing here exactly? <laughs> it's sort of weird for her. How is that possible that she's called to school and James isn't in trouble? I just wanted to let you know that James is doing very well. James is doing very well means he's studying well. He has good marks. Uh, he has good marks on tests. Etc. He has a good performance at school. Oh, is that right? I'm so proud. He has been staying for tutoring and his marks have skyrocketed. Skyrocket. Skyrocket means you know when the rocket is launched in the space, you see those you know, fire and flames coming out from this rocket and then skyrocket, it flies off and it's super fast and it's super hot. It means skyrocket. That means that they has gone up drastically. So he has improved his marks, skyrocketed. I don't know what kind of marks you should you should have had so that they skyrocketed. It means he had only like A, B, C, D. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not used to this American system, so it's always a trouble. It's always a headache to. No transform them because we have five fours threes twos ones super easy but in america a is 
like our 5, B is like our 4, C, D, and F, I believe. F, F, Fs are you now the worst marks. So he has an F, 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 and now he has A's. Wow, that's an amazing achievement. He's been staying for tutoring and his marks have skyrocketed. So he's exaggerating. I always knew he had it in him. So he had some abilities. He had some skills and knowledge, some aptitude. I learned this word recently, aptitude. Aptitude means uh, that you have something inside you that can allow you to do well, you know, in different subjects. For example, you're doing very well uh, at math. You're very good at math. Why? Because you have some, you know, because you have a good aptitude uh, at math. So you were born with these abilities and you can count very well, you can, you know, uh, learn all the formulas needed in math. So you have some aptitude in math. It's called aptitude, your inborn, your innate abilities. I always knew he had it in him. He behaves better in the classroom too. I do believe my James is growing up. All children need to mature is motivation. You know what? Now I have my spirit, I have my doubts how this how this um, teacher has done this. Because <laughs> when children behave like very well when they were hooligans before they were crying running you know, throwing things at others and suddenly they behave well well it's 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 weird so what has he done what did he promise to him uh, what does he mean by motivation what do you think all children need to mature is motivation like did, did he beat him up uh or did he you no know, did he warn him that if it's gonna continue the same way he you know he tells everything he tells his mother everything he tells his mother everything or he i don't know he kicks him out of school or he's going he's going to bully him i don't know so um especially if if she is this woman if she is a single mother well, she has some problems with bringing up a kid because, as she said, a boy needs a firm hand, a firm hand. Now, and maybe that's what this teacher provided. Maybe he said some, you know, some tough things. So stop being lazy, you, you lazy piece of something. So why don't you behave well? Why don't you... No, be good and why don't you stop embarrassing your mother your mother is doing everything for you and you you're gonna end up in jail you hear me so what is he <laughs> by the way I watched this movie called couch couch oh I forgot the name couch in, in the name so about like, black guys playing basketball and they were from dysfunctional families and they behave very very badly like and then he comes to this team and you know does some talk he's very tough with them and he teaches them how to behave you know they first call each other like yo nigga something like that and then he teaches them that they shouldn't use this term it's offensive it's offensive they should use mister instead <laughs> And it was funny, like he taught them to respect each other, he taught them some manners, but he did it very, very, in a very you know, masculine, masculine way. And I like this, you know, I, I think I like it sometimes too, and I need it for my children. So, you see, bringing up your kids, it's not always saying nice things and being nice and polite and allowing your kids doing everything they want, and you know... Uh, reply to everything they say and ignore what they're doing badly no no absolutely not you're gonna spoil your kid this way you know after some time your kid won't even feel you you'll be nobody for them because they don't respect you 
they don't see you as a as a threat to their you know to their satisfaction to their pleasure and you know they have their peers they have their own authorities they have their own uh, leaders and they follow them and they listen to them but they don't listen to you because well they're doing well they're doing well they're doing badly at school what's the difference what difference does it make you're not gonna say anything but if you will father you know when you have your belt like leather belt come here what did you get today F's come here and I know that in Western society, you know, beating your kids is considered super rude and uh, unacceptable. Unacceptable, but it's it's bad for them because they think so. They think so. It's bad for them because many kids are spoiled because uh, it takes one time you know, to do the job to beat them because but you don't beat them you no know, severely. You you beat them very lightly. So just to show them that you are, you can be dangerous, you know, you can be very aggressive, you can be very angry at them, because, you know, huh, come on, you, you get, they get a lot of things, they get their food, they get their shelter, they get all the things they need, and what, and they're lazy, and they like play games all day long, and they, and they say some terrible things, like, are you going to allow that? No, of course not. They should see the responsibilities from the very early age. They should know that they should, they should, uh, you know, meet, meet the expectations of their parents. Because their parents expect them to be good. Okay, I can talk like this for hours. I think that's enough for this, for this video. And see you in the next time. Bye-bye.